Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are looking at Propaganda E-Liquid. Alright guys, so Propaganda E-Liquid sent me their E-Liquid along with some goodies like this hat. And it's not just like a stick on, it's actually embroidered in the hat. I'm just not a hat person. Like I cannot wear hats. I don't I don't know how to wear hats, so <laughs> but and then there was these cool decal stickers. They sent me two of these huge ones. They're like wall decal or car decal. And some other stickers and pin goodie bags. But here is the piece of the resistance, or whatever that saying is. Check out their sticker. Propaganda e-liquid. All right, so we open up this box. First off, right on top is another sticker, which is going to add to my sticker collection. And then there's this card here. Oh, it is a flavor menu. Thank you, thank you so much. I love it when companies include flavor menus. It is just so smart to include, and I just like it. It's neat and it's fancy. And here are the bottles themselves, and they're packed on this um, stuff. Anyways, I got four 15 milliliter bottles. These are in three milligrams. You can get zero, three, six, 12 and 18 milligrams and these 15 milliliter bottles are $13. They do only offer four flavors. Okay, so this first e-liquid is called Subliminal. See that? Sweet and sour razzmatazz candy. Oh yum. Here is Wildfire and that's a toasted almonds and mezzaluna cookie. I don't know what kind of cookie that is. I've never had one. <laughs> This flavor is called Illuminati. <laughs> it's blood orange, pineapple, and strawberry, which actually sounds super good. And we have the Widowmaker, which is barbarian cream infused with blueberries. Oh my gosh, that sounds super good. These are amber glass dripper top bottles that are childproof and they have plastic all down the bottles. Super safe. I love seeing companies that are taking the initiative to make e-liquid safer. All right, so the first one I'm going to try is the Widowmaker, and that's the Barbarian Cream Infused Berries. Oh my goodness, that's really good. And the, the berry flavor part stands out really, m almost more than the cream. But it's really freaking good. It's gonna be tough to beat this flavor from the other three. This is really good. The cream flavor almost reminds me of like an orangey type cream though. Next, I'm going to try the toasted almonds and mezzaluna cookie or something like that. If you know what that is, what type of cookie that is, let me know in the comments below because I've never heard of that type of cookie and I know my cookies. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells so good. I love toasted almond. I'm so excited. I don't even know what this cookie is, but it fuck, smells good, man. Ooh, that is toasty. It's kind of like, like it kind of tastes like a almond mixed with like shortbread cookie, kind of like a, a more tangy, bitter, cookie than like versus like a, a smoothness of a sugar cookie or something. That is really good. Actually, it's better than the first one, but they're both really good. All right, next we're going to try the subliminal, which is the razzmatazz candy. Now this is sweet and sour, and I'm not particularly into really tart, tangy sour vapes, but we'll see. Ooh, it smells very, very tart. Very tangy. Almost like cherry-ish or like straw red flavor. <laughs> so far, I am really impressed with these e-liquids. They, they have all been very true to their name and good. And there isn't much of a throat hit, so I would assume that these are more VG, but I actually couldn't find a PG-VG ratio on their website. 
Oh, it's so good. And before anyone says it, I know there's a hole in the collar of this shirt, but um, do you see what it is? I'm not getting rid of it anytime soon. I could fix it, but I'm kind of a procrastinator of life. That is a good flavor. Not one that I would vape just because I said I don't really like tangy aftertaste type e-liquids, but that toasted almond one was super good. Let's try the last one. This is the Illuminati flavor. It's the blood orange, pineapple, and strawberry, and that just sounds like a tropical heaven. I like that they have some warnings here on the side of their bottles. Um, not for sale to minors, keep away from children. It contains nicotine, USP grade, BG, PG, natural artificial ingredients, make also contain tastes of traces of nuts. That is good to know. Obviously, I mean, they have a toasted almond flavor, so may contain traces of nuts. So if you have a nut allergy, you might want to contact them first or just avoid it altogether if you're scared about your nut allergy. And then it says, do not eat or drink and keep away from the eyes. Pretty common sense stuff, but it's good and I'm glad it's on the bottle. Oh, wow. That is citrusy and tropically and delicious. That's a really good one too. That's a really good fruit vape if you like fruity vapes. I have to say that the toasted almond Mazella Luna cookie, something like that. What was it? Mezza Luna cookie. That is freaking good. That's my favorite. Hands down, the best. But all of these e-liquids get a big thumbs up. They were all enjoyable. Dang, that's good. But I'm definitely going to add the toasted almond, it's the wildfire flavor, to my best desk where it can get vaped up right away because it's really good. If you want to check out these e-liquids for yourself, I'll put a link below to where you can go and look at them. And oh, they're available in like 30 mil, 60 mil, and 120 mil, I believe. But that's it for today's video. If you have any questions about today's product, comment below and myself or someone else with the answer. We'll get to you as soon as possible. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel for more reviews. You can check the description box below for important links as well as links to my favorite e-liquids and mods, etc. Things like that. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram or Twitter at Tia Vapes. I also have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Tia Reviews. I like to do giveaways over there more so now because something is like weird with YouTube giveaways right now. If you don't get enough of me here, I do have a second vlog channel here on YouTube where I upload random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you wanna see more of me that isn't vaping related, you can go check out that channel. But one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please consider joining Kasa.org and fight for your right to vape. So as always, I'm Tia Vapes, and thank you so much for watching, guys.